Dylan Hawkins. And we are here tonight to induct Rush. in mystery. Robert Johnson selling his soul to the devil that early morning that Satan knocked upon his door. The death of Paul McCartney in 1966 and the conspiracy to replace him with an exact look-alike. Elvis sightings. Jim Morrison sightings. Axl Rose sightings. But there's one mystery that surely eclipses them all. When the fuck did Rush become cool? Yeah. It was 1976 when my cool older stoner cousin gave me my first copy of 21 It reeked of cheap incense and was covered in a fine layer of some suspicious pollen. <laughs> Upon first inspection, I was fascinated by the track listing. The entire side one of the album was a seven-part suite with Roman numerals and names like the Temples of Sirius. <laughs> This was far from my Kiss records with such great, great works of literature like Love Gun and Ladies Room. No, this was something else. This was heavy shit. And then I saw what is perhaps the most infamous band photo of all time. Cross, standing proudly in white satin kimonos with skin tight pants. So skin tight that you can still find the one, the only guitar god, Alex Lifeson on cameltoe.org. most terrifying thing mine eyes had yet seen. <clears throat> but what was inside is why we are here today. Getty Lee's ripping bass. His incredible, unmistakable voice. Alex Lifeson's soulful, um, imaginative, melodic, chaotic guitar solos. And of course, craft and technique, his drumming was songwriting. It was just as musical, just as melodic as any other instrument in the band. Bringing the drums where they fucking should be to the forefront. Not only was he the most fucking ripping drummer in the world, not only did he do the most ripping drum solos in the world, he wrote the fucking lyrics. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Dave wrote the speech actually. <laughs> hey. Seen it rush. They did break all the rules, but isn't that what fucking rock and roll is all about? Playing upwards of 250 shows a year, from day one, the band built its following the right way. No hype, no bullshit. They did it from the ground up. Fly by night, 
Progressive Steel, 2112. Only rivaled by the Grateful Dead. Look at you people right there! And their legacy is that of a band that stayed true to themselves no matter how uncool they may have seemed to anyone. I think it's safe to say that Rush are indeed a band that has balls. <laughs> and they've always been cool. So, consider this mystery solved. It is our honor to finally... <laughs> ...induct Rush into the Rock and Roll.